asteroid is approaching Earth at 40,000 miles per hour. This is no ordinary rock. 10 kilometers across, six miles. About the same size as Washington, D.C. When it touches the ocean surface, its top will still be at 30,000 feet, nearly the cruising altitude of a 747 jet. And it weighs roughly a trillion tons. Fate has set the clocks in motion. There is no escape from what will happen in the next 24 hours. The planet will never be the same again. Impact. This single moment triggers a chain of events like no other in the history of Earth. Scientists have called it the KT event, the apocalypse of the dinosaurs. But no one knows for sure exactly how it all happened. What exactly killed the dinosaurs? The debris, the shock, the heat, or something else? And how is it possible that some animals survived? To understand the forces unleashed in the seconds after impact, we'll need a big bang of our own. In the New Mexico desert, a team is about to do just that. So this whole platform will go down? With a 5,000-pound bomb. Okay, I see. So they, they have to dig out... Uh, Planetary scientist Dan Durda is here to study the violent release of energy and use it as a small-scale model for the KT event. What forces are released in the milliseconds after impact? How do they move? And what makes them so deadly? This is a, a really unique opportunity to, uh, to, to gather some data and, then, and to actually just watch and witness uh, the energy of an event like this. For Durda, this is the first time he'll be able to observe an explosion of this size. It will give him the unique opportunity to gather data. To stand in for the explosive power of the asteroid, the team turns to ammonium nitrate and fuel oil, triggered by C4, a plastic explosive. The 30-second countdown begins. In the bunker, the team braces for impact. Charging, speeding. Stand by for count. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh man, awesome. Oh, look at the debris. Oh, beautiful ejecta falling. Oh, that's a crater. Good job, guys. Outstanding. It was a beautiful explosion, um, uh, very much equivalent to what I, you know, I feel like I've now seen an impact, uh, you know, forming an impact crater, uh, the closest I'll ever come in my life, I'm sure. Um, uh, beautiful detonation, gorgeous ejecta curtain. High-speed cameras show Durda what can't be seen with the naked eye. The forces produced by a sudden release of energy like an asteroid impact. An initial flash. Explosive material is vaporized, converted from a solid to a gas. Within milliseconds, a radiating shockwave is visible, traveling 10 times faster than the speed of sound. It precedes the physical debris ejected from ground zero. 
generates a sonic boom strong enough to blow out eardrums and damage lung tissues for hundreds of feet. Yet the sound is nothing compared to the shockwave itself. In less than six milliseconds, the blast wave travels some 80 feet. Here, this wall of compressed air is so strong, it can kill a human being. 